All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. I'm really excited to show you guys uh, a new app called Cozy Blanket. And this allows you to do some retopologizing, um, whether that's from Maya or ZBrush or whatever you want to do that for. So um, this is a website, uh, actually my Pinterest, and I will leave a link to this below. But before we get into it, let's just kind of talk about, you know, what we retopologizing is. So basically, um, when a face is created or anything in, in computer graphics, sometimes it's the wireframe. So if we look at all these squares, it's just kind of a mess. It's all over the place and it needs to be corrected after it's made. So that is the process of called retopologizing. And you can see here that these loops are very intentional. You can see loops around the mouth, loops around the eye, um, uh, around both eyes. And that, so it deforms properly when the character moves, okay? When they when they emote, when they smile, when they open their mouth, things like that. So you can see some examples of some good topology here. Now, I, and I think it's super important to have an example of what good edge flow is because you might be having all the cool tools, but if you don't know what the goal should be, um, it's gonna be kind of confusing like, well, What's my goal here? So I'm going to show you, a, once again, a really cool app that allows you to uh, do this, once again, on the iPad. I don't think it is for Android yet, but I feel like um, it is for iPad. So let's take a look here. So if I come here, this is the um, my iPad, and you can see the app right here. That's what it looks like, Cozy Blanket. You can just go to the App Store and download it for free to give it a try, okay? Um, and then if you do want to use it, you are going to have to pay. I think uh, it's eighty nine ninety nine, um, a one time fee. But then you're able to, you know, export it and download bigger models, things like that. So when I open up Cozy Blanket, this is what it looks like. Okay, the app, and you can see they have a frog there for us with kind of some retopology started. So if I just click with my fingers, and I know you can't see my hands touching this, but I'm just rotating this around. It feels very natural. Okay, and I can click with the Apple Pencil, but it doesn't need to be with the Apple Pencil. It can be with um, even with your finger, but watch this. So if I go like this, I can just draw and bam, it just creates really cool topology really quickly. And if I do a line through um, an edge this way, it'll create an edge loop. Okay, you can see that I can kind of go like this and it's just smart enough to know that it should have you know, kind of added that edge loop there. Um, again, I can go through in a line like that, whoop, line like that, and it creates an edge loop. Now, if I want to undo, I can tap with both fingers and bam, it's gone. That's the undo key, okay? I can also, um, if I want to delete a point, I can just, or delete a face, I can just make this gesture and there it's deleted. Once again, tap with two fingers at the same time, to undo. There we go. And now you can see on the side there, I have move, and I'm talking right here, move, relax, and then the pencil. So if I go to move, I can hold down move. And you can see that when I click with a pencil, and I'll, I'll talk about that color coding soon. So if I hold down move, I can move it kind of like this, okay? And if I click on relax, you can see that what that does. And I'm just kind of like dragging the pencil over it. So really cool. I also have mirroring at the top here. Well, I don't have it. Cozy Blanket has it, right? I can click right there. And now whatever I do on one side is going to be obviously mirrored on the other side. And it only shows those like thick black lines when you're really close, okay? Uh, so it, it just makes it easy to kind of view. Now let's talk about these colors, okay? So to kind of you know, kind of emphasize edge loops to make sure that it's working, like those loops around the eyes and the mouth that I was showing. Uh, you can see that there's color here. So if you want to create something like that, you simply just drag over a line like that and bam, it creates a color. So again, I'm just gonna undo that. So I, I'm just tracing over a line like that. And then you can see how it created the color. Now you can see that those intersection points might look like an error right away, but it's actually not. It's just kind of, it's trying to show both colors, both yellow and pink or yellow and purple. So that's exactly what it should be doing. Now, if I wanted to export, I would have to go up here 
And here's my export button. The, then one next to it is import. Okay. So if I click on export right now, it's going to say, hey, wait a minute. Um, you did not purchase Cozy Blanket yet. We're giving you an opportunity to try it. But if you want to actually use this like in production or whatever, uh, you're, it looks like the cost is $90. Okay. Now, I do a lot of retopology. I feel like this actually might be worth it. It looks like, because I, once again, I feel like retopology can be kind of a drag. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but doing it on the iPad just seems so kind of fun and different. Like you could be, you know, just relaxing on the couch and just kind of retopologizing. It's, it's, it just seems different than, than being physically at the computer and then just click, 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 click. You know, it's just kind of a lot simpler. And you can see kind of a demo of some stuff they're doing there. And what they're actually demoing right there was the, um, uh, it's called the clone patch tool. So when you, if you purchase it, you get additional features like the erase tool and the patch clone tool. Um, looks like autosave as well, but you can also import and export OBJs out of here. Like you can export out your retopology, retopologize mesh and if you want to try your own models, you can bring in models under 45,000 vertices. And I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to show you how to import something from ZBrush to start retopologizing. So I'm going to just close that dialog box. And um, let's take a look at that. So here is ZBrush. Is there some okay, so here's ZBrush. And I can see that right away, I can see my total uh, point count is at 25,000. Now this actually has pretty good topology on, but let's say if it didn't. Okay, now I need to retopologize it. And by the way, if you want to grab this same head in practice, you can go to Lightbox. And then I just grabbed this uh, demo head female right here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. And I'm just gonna go to export. And you can see that I saved it on the desktop as female head. Okay, saved it as OBJ, and that's awesome. That's all I want. Now I'm gonna go to my Gmail or any email, and I'm just gonna email it to myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, bam. I'm gonna say, you know, face, and I'm gonna go right here to attach files. And now I'm gonna go to female head, there it is, open, excellent. Then I'm gonna hit send, and then it's going to send, and now I'm gonna go back, and I'm not gonna send it because I already sent it to myself, but I'm gonna go back to the iPad, and now I'm gonna kind of swipe up from the bottom. I'm gonna to go to the, my email, and I can see that um, right here is the, um, is the face attachment, and I have it like this, and I can click on it, and I can say, um, save to files. Okay, that first one there, so save to files. And when I click on that, I get a choice. Hey, where do I wanna save it to? And I'm gonna save it on my iPad. So if I click here, that opens up and I'm gonna choose Cozy Blanket, okay? And now I'll click save right up here, click save, and then it's gonna save in there, okay? And I already have it saved, so I'm not gonna click save again. And then if I go back to Cozy Blanket, what I can do is over here, I'm gonna click on this icon up there and I'm gonna go to click on that. And now you can see that there's female head. So if I click on female head, bam, it's in here ready to rock and roll. And now I can kind of just do my retopologizing on here. Okay, and you can see that when I move closer, I can kind of see a little bit better. And however I wanna do it, you know, maybe I should make sure that I had mirroring on really cool stuff. Um, and again, I feel like what I would do if I'm um, doing this is I would make sure that I have um, a, obviously a goal of what you want. So like look at um, like that Pinterest link that I have uh, in, the show, in, in the notes below. It's going to give you a link to a bunch of edge flow because some good edge flow and you'll be able to kind of work with that. Um, and one thing before you go, I just want to kind of point out, if I want to move like a single point, I can just double click real quick. And now you can see I can grab 
a point. So double click, double click, and go like that. Now, if you want more documentation to kind of see on this, if I click on this icon at the top, if I click on this, it's going to take me to um, this. And you can see I can buy the retopology pack for $89 right here. I can look at the website or their documentation for um, kind of all of the possibilities that I can do with this. Um, if, I, if I'm left-handed, I can obviously switch it to left-handed mode. And then the interaction mode, I can switch it to specifically to work with Apple Pencil or uh, multi-touch and hold will allow you to use your finger, right, instead of um, an Apple Pencil. So you don't even need the Apple Pencil if you don't have it. But again, super cool stuff. I hear that this is very intensive on the iPad. So if you have an iPad, an old iPad, maybe it might be a little sluggish, but I feel like um, the new iPad Pro is just a beast, okay? So if you have that or you're thinking about an iPad, maybe consider um, you know, getting it really specced out to some you know, great specifications and, um, and then kind of really taking advantage of this. So hopefully that was helpful. If you guys like this, please make sure to hit the subscribe button um, so you can get more of these videos and be up to date. I release videos like this once a week and um, just hope to see you keep pushing out cool stuff in 3D. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next time. All right, thank you.